Okay, so the next pattern that we'll work on is this collage of uh, frames here. Mm -hmm. And because this is so dark, um, what we're going to do is use a white pen. So we'll just go over the little collage of squares mm -hmm. just to really get a feel of how uh, you would go about drawing that on your cardstock. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of see that they're different um, orientations. So it's either up and down like, mm -hmm. or landscaped. Mm -hmm. And then we're just building different size squares all over. And it looks like none of the corners actually match up in this. Exactly. So it's very abstract. Mm -hmm. And the great thing about this, too, is that you can really add as many of these squares as you want. So you could either use it as a feature pattern that we've drawn before, or you could even, if you want to do it as small as this picture is, it would make a great filler pattern as well. Mm -hmm. I think I would like to do this one really small in the back. Like in the background. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's interesting that the reference photo that you took for this even like it almost in a way it's almost good be that it is like out of focus and small because I think it helps you like take that abstract shape from the, the actual photo frame. So you don't really think that you're looking at photo frames from the beginning in this one. Yeah, you're just looking for the pattern is mm -hmm. what it is. So all right. Yeah, I think I have So once you have a good feel of, you know, how you're going to draw your squares and your boxes, mm -hmm. you can just bring it over to the cardstock and mm -hmm. you can either, if you want yours to be really small, maybe you want to switch to a Pigma Micron instead. Okay. Um, I'm going to use a bigger, I'm still mm -hmm. going to stick with the Sharpies because I really like this design mm -hmm. and I think it would be great to add other designs and almost use it like a frame in our mm -hmm. in our uh, in our tangle. I really like that idea. So I think I'm <laughs> gonna start with that, and then I'm just gonna put this in the back of my mind for the future for, for a filler space. Okay. I mean, you can use it, it both ways in this pattern mm -hmm. or in this tangle if you'd like. You know, mm -hmm. later on when we finish it up and start adding more of the same patterns and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Where are some other places that you found inspiration for shapes? I really like crochet patterns and um, I, I like those because I am the one who's crocheting it so I really have a feel of what the pattern is going to look like mm. and it really makes me think about it. As I'm crocheting I'm like, oh this would make a great tangle pattern. Yeah. Because <laughs> I can see it starting to develop. and. And when I'm all done, I'll take a picture of uh, the doily or whatever I've created. Mm -hmm. I like to crochet too. I can see what these um, two things have in common, you know, as far as just that peaceful sort of downtime where you, you know, you might have five minutes or, or maybe 20 minutes mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're lucky <laughs> 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 to sit and draw and just really relax and make something. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm happy with as many squares as we have mm -hmm. here. Can I just add one more in there? Okay. And I'm just going to add a little pop of color mm -hmm. um, just to bring out the design. And you can even add shading to any of these really just mm -hmm. by taking your pencil and adding it to the design wherever you want mm -hmm. the shading to be. Okay. So I'll show that real quick. So I like to use, if I'm going to shade with a pencil with Sharpies, what I like to do is uh, do the shading first. And in my previous videos I've shown that I really like blending stumps when I am shading, mm -hmm. but if you're going to use the Sharpies over it, you don't really need to because the texture of the Sharpie is, all, it works almost like a blending stump. Really? Yeah. So I'll go ahead and show that. 
See, it kind of makes it a, a grayish mm -hmm. color there. I do see. And you just kind of blend it out. Mm -hmm. I was curious about that. Now, if you want to do another pattern within this, do you think it's best to, to draw those smaller patterns with like the micron pens first and then do the marker over top of it, or does it matter? Actually, I really suggest coloring first mm -hmm. because sometimes the Pigma microns, if you're going to go over it with the Sharpies, they will, uh, it will kind of make the Pigma microns bleed out a little mm -hmm. bit. Okay. And you don't want to create a smudge Mm-hmm. So. Okay, that's good to know. So we'll just continue coloring our boxes in and then mm -hmm. we'll be back with our next pattern. Okay, so now that we've finished coloring our little square design there, mm -hmm. we can go on to our next pattern. And as long as we have the white pen out, we'll go to another uh, pattern that has a darker type of line. So we'll do the bridge, and if you look, you want to try and find lines that are consistent throughout the whole pattern. Okay. So like you can see this, this goes all the way up. Okay. 